dun 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 Hello everybody, I am Darth Wags Ford, and today I'm going to talk about everything you should and need to know about Star Wars Rogue One. The trailer just came out two days ago, and there's a couple of things we need to talk about. So welcome to Wagner's Clan, and let's talk about it. So first... The new looks like to be the main character. Her name is Jen Arso, and she looks to be kind of a rebel. And yes, you would say, yes, there's a rebel alliance in Star Wars. Well, rebel as in breaking laws, and she could be deceiving, because at the end we see her on her uniform having the same pilot logo as a stormtrooper, so that could mean something. All right, so the next thing you need to know is Star Wars Rogue One takes place before A New Hope, and it leads into A New Hope. Who knows, part of the end of the movie could take place during the beginning of A New Hope when Luke did not find the Rebels yet. So this, so all we know is it's a, a kind of a heist movie, so like they're trying to steal the plans to the Death Star, and if you don't know, the plans to the Death Star is what is used to destroy the Death Star by Luke Skywalker when all the Rebels gather around in A New Hope and discuss, the, discuss during that meeting how they're going to destroy the Death Star. The next thing you need to know, or you probably should know this already, if you saw the trailer, you could see a shadowy figure with, they have a robe, they're standing like this, but they have a hood over them. And he's standing like this, and there's an Imperial Guard on each side of him across the room. And what that means, Imperial Guards only follow two people during that time, because there was only two people that uh, a Royal Imperial Guard would follow. Either Darth Vader or Darth Sidious, which is Chancellor Palpatine. So, Darth Sidious usually is the one that wears a hood. So that's making me conclude that it's Darth Sidious. But Darth Vader... It could be Darth Vader, but I don't know why Darth Vader would have a hood. So that does mean one of them is going to be in the movie, or they could both be. But I've heard from lots of news, because I did lots of research, that Darth Vader could take place in this movie with a battle. Have a couple of battle scenes, which would be, be pretty cool, because we need to see more lightsaber action up in here. And another cool thing, if you notice at one part in the trailer, it looks like we're on type of a jungly forest, like Endor, I'm not saying it isn't Endor, I'll have to do more research on that, and I'll have separate theory videos for everything I'm talking about now. But, there's at, -At walkers on a jungle-looking planet, with the rebels scurrying at the bottom, with no ships. Mind you not, they are fighting on foot. And that looks like it would be a really cool battle scene. Just, the visual effects of this movie look awesome, the story seems to be stunning, and it's fitting the old New Hope. Stormtroopers still have the exact same looks, same as the Rebels, so that also does conclude that the time periods aren't too far apart. And I think that does conclude everything besides one more thing I have to discuss is, at one part in the trailer, you see a shadowy slash dark stormtrooper, a shadow trooper, which is standing like this, and in the background he's got a water vaporator, which is on, if you don't know, in A New Hope, Luke Skywalker on Tatooine, they have these things called water vaporators, you know those things that stuck around their house? Well, there's one of those on fire in the background, and him standing there. Could that be how Luke's house got destroyed, and his uncle got killed? By that stormtrooper. That would make a big difference in, t in the entire movie, and could tell us a lot more information about Star Wars. But, here's the only thing that breaks that, is there was some green grass, so... That could mean that it was just another planet and it was a coincidence. Well, I'll go into more depth on those certain theories, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to know more, subscribe, and I will have more theory videos coming soon to the future. May the Force be with you. Bye. So, I'm going... I decided I'm going to try to use this and make a basket.